Hey besties, so I found these cute little charcuterie discs and I wanted to try them out for a possible Mother's Day brunch idea. So I got them and let's go ahead and try. So I already have my name set up here and I did my font as Alex Brush and my curve is a negative 82.5, okay? I am going to leave my settings as is just because I wanna see how this comes out with no changes. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. I'm going to autofocus. Okay, so then I'm just going to make sure that it is set up the way I want and press start. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press send. And then I'm going to press the button on my machine. So this was my first pass on three millimeter basswood and I thought it was too light. Some of the lines look a little splotchy. So I thought I would send it through to pass once more and see how that comes out. The good thing about this machine is as long as you don't touch it or move it, it will re-engrave in the same spot. All you have to do is refresh, autofocus and press start again. Okay, so I'm gonna change the name for the second one. And I'm going to do a five millimeter basswood setting. And I'm going to do two passes this time. I'm gonna change the tone on this one and then we'll go ahead and autofocus and do the same thing again. Okay, so this one, if I'm being honest, I did not need to do two passes, but you know, I just more so wanted to see the difference in how the engraving's gonna turn out based off of the settings on this particular wood grain. Uh, but you'll see it, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because you can already tell the difference in how dark this one is in comparison to the last one. So this is the result with the first pass complete. Like I said, I probably did not need to do two passes on this particular one, but we'll go ahead and let it finish. So as you could see on this one, the engraving is not so great. So I would definitely suggest changing the settings to something more on the lines of this one. Um, you can see them in comparison here together. If you do get any like char marks around it, you can definitely just clean it off with a wet paper towel. But I would suggest that you uh, hand wash them anyway after engraving. This was my end result. Of course, if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.